Why that ran twice, I don't know. But welcome to Transfer Talk anyway. I don't know what happened there. It just decided to do it twice. And it's shit music in it as well. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody is well. Sanjay's got a comment there. says, get John O'Shea in. That's an interesting thing. Right, let's talk then. Um, there's some talk <clears throat> that Manchester United are going to be in the mixer for a midfielder. Who's come up with that idea? Well, anyone who's watched United play in the last six months, probably. So, possible January signings. Let's look at these then. Ralph Randick has placed RB Leipzig midfielder Amadou Haidara on a transfer list ahead of the January transfer window, which makes a lot of sense, really, doesn't it? Because if you was writing a rumour, one that you think could probably happen is one, here's his old club, he knows him, he's got a relationship at his old club, let's link him, it's very easy. Whether there's any truth to it or not, I haven't heard either way, if I'm being honest with you. It's been suggested that he's going to be given £100 million to spend in 2022, so he's eyeing up potential targets to bolster the squad. I don't even think we just need to bolster the squad, I actually just think you need to fix the midfield area. Um, and I think there's still probably a little bit of titivation that you can do elsewhere as well. Uh, Hadara played under him during his time as Leipzig manager in 1819. Um and supposedly has attracted the attention of a lot of clubs, um, and apparently he's one of the names that's on the shortlist. Hadara had to say, everyone had a favourite team as a kid. Mine was Manchester United, so this isn't helping this rumour go away, is it? Big fan of Ronaldo, I like Scholes, Evan van der Sar, Anderson. If you want to talk to me about rumours, I'm at Leipzig and I feel good, so he told Sport Build that. I think he's a decent player. I think he fits the mould in terms of what United are looking at. I had a sidebar here for you. I'll get that up. There you go. Wrong one. That's who we're talking about next. Bosch. So I think he fits the mould of what we're looking for. Decent player. Exactly what we're kind of looking for. How much he would cost. I mean, he's got his value there as 21 million. Is it 21 million? It's never 21 million when United come calling, is it? So I would be very surprised if it was 21 million. The next one that we're going to talk about then, you might have just seen, Frank Kessie. Now for me, Big fan. I actually think this is very much what United need. 49.5 million there. If we've only got 100 million to spend, blowing half of it on one player, well, it's something we do do, isn't it? Definitely. For me, I think he's certainly one that United should be looking at. I rate him very, very highly. I think he's a real player. I think he's got on the ball ability. I think he's got off the ball ability. And I think he's ready for the step up to the top level. I think he'd be fantastic for United. Um, and I think he's probably gettable the way AC Milan, Milan are at the moment. Um, and I think he could be a, a big one. Uh, the problem is, is, the, is the cost of him. Um, I think the age is bang on. It's exactly what you're looking for. He's got the experience you're looking for. Tough tackler. He's out of contract next summer. Um, yet to sign a new deal, which might mean that you could get him at a knockdown price um, and potentially as soon as next month. That interests me. United could also go um, get him in January with a cut price fee um, and that might suit Milan better than losing him um, a few months later. Obviously he was at Atlanta um, initially on loan um, all the way back in 2017. He's since then gone from strength to strength. He's one of the best defensive midfielders in Europe. He's got protection of the back four. He's got good line breaking passes and I don't think he's afraid to venture forward and, and actually get the occasional goal as well. Um, what are you guys saying in the comments? We're saying Kessie's so underrated, uh, forcing midfield of the park. I'm, I'm a big fan. Kessie's someone I would like us. Saw him against us for Milan. Phenomenal. Old Trafford says Ross. Kessie similar to Michael Essien. Get him signed 24 as well. A lot of people saying... Ke All right, let's 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 have a look at this then. If it was Kessie or Hadara, what are you going for? What are you going for if it was just straight shoot out between those two? Uh, Jack says, definitely agree on Kessie. I've been a fan of him for a while. It's the type of mentality we need in the middle of the park. Um, Santa Notch saying would be a great option. Um, Frankie De Jong. See, I was going to wait until the end of the video for this. Um, it's not information for the public ears just yet. So I'll do a little video on Patreon for this. There's a couple of bits of news. One's a managerial change, which affects uh, United. And um, one's a little bit of info I've heard on Frankie de Jong. So I'll I'll do that for Patreon and I'll drop that after this video. If you're interested in checking that out, link in the description. Come and join the Patreon Massive. We've done some promo shots today uh, with myself and Ben. Ready for next week's Pizza Club, the return of the Pizza Club. So if you're interested in getting in the mix with all of those, 
If you want to support the channel, Patreon is the place to do that. Uh, Scraggy says Hadara over Kessie, Ralph Rangnick player. That's a good point. Do I reckon Phillips is possible if Leeds go down? I'm I'm not sure on Phillips. I think he works all right in that England squad. And maybe that would still work necessarily for what United are looking for. But no, I think I, I think both Hydara and Kessie are probably above him. But you never know. One in Jan, one in summer. We only have McFred. It could be that. Hamza Chowdhury. I'm a big fan, actually. I think Hamza Chowdhury is a hell of a player. Kessie and Jan Hydara in a summer. I'd take that. That'd be a complete overhaul, wouldn't it? Um, any news on Pogba? I don't have any news on Pogba whatsoever. I'm sick of the circus. I don't think that's news, though. Innes says, sell Lingard, Marshall, and Pogba in Jan and get both. Do you know what? Not the craziest thing I've ever heard, in all honesty. I think you could do that. Um, I was going to talk about Anthony Marshall, but I didn't manage to get any of my research done in time. So, um, I don't really have anything, any news for you on Anthony Martial. I just think there's every chance he's going in. And then obviously there's no, um, no great shakes there. No surprises with that one. I think he's going to be going. When are we seeing the next episode of the XG Files? Is it Patreon exclusive? No, it's not Patreon exclusive. It's um, just not been possible to get it done lately with myself and Ronaldo being around. Um, I think they are coming back though. They'll probably be back from January, I would think. Uh, what about Ndidi? I think you try and buy players from the Premier League. What? All right. Williams just interrupted and said he sent me some notes over there on um, Tony Marshall. So we'll get to those in a second. Um, I think that that's something we could do in the future, I'm sure. Ndidi, um, if you try and buy anyone from the Premier League, you get nailed on the price, don't you? You just get nailed on the price. There's no, there's no bargains to be had buying in the Premier League. Um, what do we think about getting Bellingham next summer if Pog believes? Well, it is my understanding, or it was while Ollie was still here. I don't know if that's changed or if it was a long-term target of the club. It was my understanding. Read between the lines if if you're familiar with what that phrase is used for. But it is my understanding that um, United really fancy. Jude Bellingham. Um, I think he cost you 100 million, and I'm not sure if that's good use of funds, but I think they really want him or they really like him. Danny says, We'd like another loan watch, Steve. Uh, Laird, Garner uh, are flying. They are flying. Um, one of one of Paddock FC players um, used to live with Jimmy Garner. I think he's going there this weekend to go see him. So I could probably get some info out of him for how it's getting on. But I believe he's been playing a little bit higher up than he um, usually plays. So. We shall see. Um, if we get Ten Hag, he won't like workhorses. Then technical players, then what? That's a good point. What do I make of the Rudiger talk? Now, this is interesting. I did want to talk about this. I didn't write this down as a note, actually, but um, I would be very excited. Here's the problem. United don't typically, typically go in for that sort of player, but free transfer, only got to deal with his wages. There would be substantial wages, and he's definitely worth it. But... They don't typically go in for that sort of profile of player, but the fact he's on a free transfer, does that change anything? We already know how he plays in the Premier League. I think that would be a very, very astute signing for United. It certainly put pressure on everybody else in the defence. Definitely. Would Ruben Neves work under Ragnick? Yes. Uh, are we not getting Declan Rice, I guess? When have we ever actually been? I think it's one that everyone wants to make happen. But again, it's a, it's, a, it's a hundred million. You want to go and try anybody in, in the Premier League and it's a hundred million pound. I don't even, I've not even told you who I want yet. It's a hundred million. hundred million is the price. Fuck me. Um, why are our loan players playing higher up than intended? Um, what do you mean? They're just playing a different position. Someone's playing them, getting them a little bit further up the pitch, I assume. Um... Rudiger seems like Bay without the injuries. I think they're a completely different style of centre half, to be honest with you. Rudiger's like exudes calm and control, and, and Bay's like a hand grenade in a sweet shop. Um, who does Rudiger replace? Maguire on the bench. Yeah. Cavani to Barca, De Jong the other way. Um, there was some talk in it. I don't like how much talk there is about uh, Cavani going. I'd love to see him play more frequently. I really would. I really would. Rudiger Varane would be fire. Yeah, I agree. Just get that feeling. Declan Rice would be like dire. <laughs> um, Ethan Laird will get a chance next. Or will Ethan Laird get a chance next season? What more could he do? 
to get a chance. He's absolutely flying, isn't he? And if you if United are going to play a narrow system that's got um, fullbacks that are bombing on, he's made for this. Dolapo says, let go of Jones and Bay and get Rudiger. Seems good to me. Yeah, you could probably afford him not far off with that. And then you can use Menge as your backup. I don't think that would be an issue for anybody. I'll go to a back three, um, says John. I I'm not sure you would go to a back three. If we continue in the 4 triple 2 who would my ideal number 10s be? I don't think it's crazy to see um, Sancho in there. Uh, for my team selection that I did for the Brentford game, which never happened on Tuesday, I went with... Um, I went with uh, Van der Beek and Bruno over the Sancho. I don't necessarily think it's a bad idea having Sancho in there. Um, Charu saying, would I like Timo Werner? Uh, yeah, I think he'd be all right in this. I can see why everyone's sort of linking him to United. It makes a lot of sense. I, I think he plays a very, very similar style of play to Rashford, though. I don't think you'd necessarily need to if you've got Rashford. Not to say one, why. Don't get right, Rudiger wants to leave Chelsea for us. Anything to do with Ralph? I don't know if he's got any prior relationship with him. It's theoretical, I guess, but I don't know for a fact that he has. Um, I haven't seen that anywhere. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, I get why you'd want to leave Chelsea, um, but... I don't know anything other than, for me, it felt like, um, it honestly felt like it was just destined to end up at Bayern, as a, every German player does, doesn't it? It just feels destined. What's the script with Dean Henderson? Is he a potential mate waiting off transfer? Now De Gea's balling again. Yeah, probably. We should play 4-3-3. It suits Ronaldo the best, says Rishav. Maybe the idea isn't to get the best out of Ronaldo, though, and it's to get the best out of the team and play as a team. There's no good Ronaldo scoring a goal a game if the team's conceding five a game, is it? Uh, Jake says, I'd love De Jong and Kessie uh, with the lit as centre-back because of the link-up between the Dutch men. Maybe. Do you have any clues as to who were the players who tested positive for COVID? Yes. Uh, and apparently what I said on the podcast on Monday was incorrect. Um... I don't think I can say on here, though. Uh, whether Ralph continues or if we get in Ten Hag or Poch, it seems like the double pivot is here to stay. Um, who do you want to have there? I don't think I can answer that immediately like this. There's a lot of things at play. Who's your fullbacks? What's your style of play? What are you looking to do with the ball? These are the things that we've got to figure out. Isn't Palestra coming back? Says Sidan. Do you want him back? When I first saw him, literally go find the first video of me when we signed him. And I did the YouTube scouting of him. And I was like, right, well, his highlights are shit. If this is the best that you've got to show of him, there's nothing here. There's nothing here with him. I think I might have had a higher ceiling, but uh, there's nothing that I've seen in, in Palestra that makes me think that he's a player there at all. Nothing. How many can I see going in Jan, says Jordan. I could see a lot going, to be honest with you. A lot going. A hell of a lot going. Uh, do I reckon McNeil or Hugo will get a chance in the first team this season? No. Um, Verano Rudiger could stop Liverpool scoring at Old Trafford. Uh, Rudiger's one of the best centre-backs in the league. I agree. I think Ethan Laird could do well under Ralph, says Blake. Yep, I agree. How many players do I think we are away from winning the league or the Champions League? Um, and who do I think could make a difference? I think Rudiger could, for sure. I definitely think Rudiger could. Um, and I think if you had... Um, yeah, that video of was shy. Um, I think if you had Rudiger, that would make a big difference. But you don't need a lot. United could win the Champions League because the best team in Europe does not usually win the Champions League. And who wins the Champions League is teams that have got goals in them. Um, and we do have goals in us. Uh, and that could push us over the line. you only got to be lucky. In a league, your luck runs out. You, you end up usually where you deserve to be in the league. But in a cup competition, you can... You can find yourselves in the quarterfinals without having played anyone. Uh, you can get through a quarterfinals with half a good performance. Then you're in a semi-final. And if someone else has got injuries or bottles it or just has some shocking refereeing decisions, because they matter, you find yourself in the final. And then it's who blinks first. And it can happen. And United found ourselves in finals, not necessarily European finals that we didn't deserve, but we found ourselves in finals that we didn't deserve to be in. Certainly FA Cup ones and things like that. And it happens. No, it happened when Liverpool were not the best team in Europe in 2005 by a fucking long stretch. And they won it. They drew their way there, but they won it. 
So I think Champions League is probably easier for us to win than the Premier League is. I think you've got three of the best five teams in Europe are in the Premier League. If United are capable of beating teams from England by fair high, <coughs> high chances of winning the Champions League, not even. Yeah, Chelsea got luckier last year and even luckier in 2012. You don't even necessarily need to be able to beat City and Liverpool and all them lot to win it because someone else can beat them there for you. It's just, it's just the way it is sometimes. <clears throat> uh, a Ralph player in January would benefit this season. If Ralph isn't the guy beyond the short term, we've spent on someone else that might not fit the new manager's setup. But you got to think that you assume, I would assume, <coughs> Ralph's going to have an input into who we sign. I think. Righty. I think this cough's getting worse, so I'm going to bow out right now. I'm going to go do a video for Patreon, so I'll catch you guys very, very soon. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.